what's going on guys and I have a little bit of a test so um, basically I got a $25 lot of comic books and I want to see if I can make my money back and I have the total written down and I have the total for each individual book so let's get started on this so first up Eclipso number two uh, no significant appearances it's probably around the 9694 book um, so it's in relatively high grade um, but this book in a, in a raw, uh, it's raw value is about $2. So it's not really the most expensive book. So grading it's probably not even worth it either. Next book we have Dark Star number 11. Uh, again, no significant appearances, very common book. And this book, uh, this book's raw value is about $1. So not starting off pretty strong, but that's okay. Next book is X-Man, uh, this looks like, I think this is X-Man number six, I want to say. Um, again, no significant appearances. This is a, this is like a 9.8. This is a really high grade book, but unfortunately, a raw value is about $2. All these books were scanned by pricecharting.com. You could all use it too, it's free to use, and I use it to basically value my books. And next book is Guardians number three. Um, again, no, I don't think any of these books have significant appearances, but this book is around like a, this is probably like a nine, four, nine, six. So it's in pretty high grade. Um, the cover is not my favorite, but it's all right. Um, and this book's about $1. Like you could find this book all the end there for just $1. That's pretty insane. Uh, this cover is actually pretty cool. I like this one. Uh, this is Galactic Bounty Hunters number three. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a really cool cover, guys. Um, but this book, book's raw value is about $3. So, yeah, we are, we're not doing very good. That one's actually, that one's only probably like an 8 grade. I don't know, that one's not the highest grade. Next, we have the Legion Join Dark Seed number 28. Um, yeah, this book's also like not really too popular. Uh, it's actually worth less than its cover price. This book's about a two dollar book, yeah. So, we're not doing too good, guys. And this cover is actually interesting because it's like an older type style. The Outsiders number 19. Uh, this book's all right. Um, but yeah, it's raw value is about one dollar. So not the best, guys. Not the best. Next book is Hardcore Station number four. Um, yeah. Again, no significant appearances. Pretty common book, and this book's about one dollar. You could probably, I would say, people would probably uh, have no problem spending fifty cents on that book. So, but one dollar is about what it's worth. This cover is Dead Man number two. Um, yeah, it's a really weird cover. I'm I <laughs> I would never buy this book. Um, it is high grade though. It's probably like a nine eight. Um, but unfortunately, raw value one dollar. It'll start to pick up, but these books just aren't really worth much. This one is so common. I don't know how it's that common, but this one's all over the internet. Omega Flight number five out of five. Um, yeah, cover price for this book is one dollar, and it looks like cover price is about three dollars. So this book went down. Next up, we have Thunder Agents number five. This one's got a cover price of four dollars, and yeah, so this one is actually a really cool cover. The cover it's actually pretty neat for being a newer ish book from 2012 but unfortunately the cover price is two dollars <laughs> so again another book that just significantly dropped i don't know why so this one is justice league europe number 15 this one is significantly lower grade there is water damage up here um there's some spine wear right there but Weirdly enough, this book does carry some good value. I think this book, yeah, this book goes for about six bucks. So 
that's a good book. It's just, it's just got a little bit of water damage and some spyware. But other than that, it's probably good. That one's probably like a 7.5. Now it's gonna, this one's actually pretty good. This is Tech World number one. Um, I've never, I never really knew what Tech World was. They sell a whole uh, section of them at uh, my comic shop, but Tech World number one goes for about 10 bucks raw. So that's a, that, that was a good boost. And that should help our, uh, our final value at the end. Next up we have Primal Force Stocked number four. Uh, no idea what this book is. The cover is cool, um, but yeah, this one's also probably like an 8.5, 8.0. Um, not the highest grade, but um, it's about a two dollar book. All right. Next up, we have Master of the World number 21. So that's a pretty cool cover. It's a 50 cent cover price, so it's probably from the 80s, I would say, 70s, 80s. And this book raw goes for about two bucks, two dollars. So, and that's actually a larger book, 50, uh, two pages. Next up, we have X Force number 21. Um, interesting book. Um, it's got a dollar 25 uh, cover price, so it's from the 90s. It's probably only like an eight, 9.2, 9.0. Um, but this book raw goes for about two bucks, not getting it graded. None of these books would I would ever get graded. I don't think any of them got significant value of any sort. And this is actually one of my favorite covers of this haul. Arak, Son of Thunder, number 16. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, really cool blue cover, like the sea monster. Um, this book, Rob, is about $10, and it's in really high grade. If this one has going to be value on GoCollect, and it's got, might get that one graded. I really like that cover. Next up, we have Ravage 2099, number seven. Um, this book, it's an interesting cover. Would definitely not get it. This one looks like it is from the 90s, 1993. And this book raw goes for about $3. This is actually a cool cover. Nomad number four. Uh, pretty cool. I like the Deadpool card right there. Uh, this one probably takes place in Deadpool anyway. This is also from the 90s. It's probably 1994, 1995. Um, this book raw goes for about $4. Next up, we have Excalibur number 8. Uh, Mayhem in Manhattan. Uh, like this cover. I never got into Excalibur. I honestly might. These books are pretty cool. I really like this one. This one also came out in the 90s, 1990. Oh wow, never mind. It came out in 1989. So that's an expensive book from the 80s. Um, Excalibur number eight goes for about $5 raw. But honestly, that, one, that one's a high grade. That one's probably like a 9.6, I would say. Two more books. This is Balder the Brave number one. Um, this one is probably around like in a 7.5, 8.0, but in this condition, raw, uh, goes for about $9. And if it was complete 9.8 candidate, it goes for upwards of $20. But fair market value on this condition uh, book is about $9. So that's pretty cool, number one issue. And that's really cool, it came just in a random block. And finally, one of the coolest covers in this haul, and it's probably like a 9.8, is Challenger number, th or not Challenger, uh, Challenge number three. Can you solve it before we do? Um, this one's probably cool. I don't know if it has any significant appearances. It's a really cool Batman cover, but Challenge number three goes for about $6. And that is the whole $25 combo haul right there. And the total estimated value of all of these books is $76. So we win. 25 bucks got a really cool profit there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope this shows you guys 
that no matter how much you spend, you can always make a profit if you get the right haul. There might be times where you're unlucky, but most of the time you will make out with your money. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Put something down below and subscribe. We'll see you next video. See you guys.